Today I'm going to be trying an instant tattoo printer from Korea that can print on skin and objects. This thing ain't cheap at $299 a pop for the kit. So let's just hope it actually does what it says it does. Welcome back to Tina Tries It. I don't know about you, but I am way too indecisive to get tattoos. So I don't have any. Actually, wait, that's a straight up lie. I have my eyeliner tattoo, so does that count? Anyways, I stumbled across this machine called Imprimtu. It's a little printer machine that can be used to customize daily tattoos and fabric. It's made by a Korean company. Now I have seen other types of instant tattoo printers on the market previously, but those tend to be a little bit smudgy and hard to control. The print quality isn't that great, but with this little guy, it actually looks promising. So let's have a look at what comes in the kit. There's an instruction card, a user manual, the printer itself, a priming powder, and there's more stuff inside this little box. There's the tint palette, which is the ink, a palette cleaning tool, some palette cleaning sheets, and the charging cable. Let's load this thing up with the ink. It's pretty simple to do. All you do is open the ink cartridge, pop it in the device, it clicks in place. There's also an imprint to app that you need to download and you can connect the machine to the app and then you can access thousands of tattoo designs. I'm actually pretty impressed with their design library. I saved a whole bunch to my favorites, but I want to test out a couple of different designs from simple line work that's black and white to colorful designs with the shading and some more intricate designs. I also want to test it out on object mode because you can print on stationery and fabric. First, I'm going to turn on the device by holding down that button. So I've picked out this star design. It's black and white. It's quite simple. There's just some line work. So I'm going to send this design to the imprinter machine. Um, why does it keep saying pair device? Do I have to hold it or something? After a great start. <laughs> I just realized I need to change the mode. I'm gonna open the bottom of the device, switch it to skin mode. Now I'm gonna send the design to imprint to. Any minute now. Design set, ready to imprint to. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, you didn't even wrap your thing. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm so bad at reading instructions. Okay, I almost forgot I need to prep my skin first with this powder, like a little little puff. So this is the priming powder, just to make everything smooth. I'm just gonna apply that on the area I'm going to tattoo. Oh, I don't know why I feel nervous. It's not even like a real tattoo. I just don't want this to stop up. First, I'm going to press the button and then wait until it flashes green and then roll it across my skin. smudge and what is that? What is that residue? I got a little bonus tattoo here as well. Okay, it's not too bad guys. It, it did get a little bit smudgy towards the end, but maybe because I need to roll it a little bit lighter, I think I need to perfect the pressure. Let's go again. <gasps> oh my gosh. I did it! I did it! It works and it looks actually pretty good! Mom, I have a tattoo! That was super light, like I just lightly rolled it across my skin. There was no pressure and it worked perfectly. Not bad! Not bad! Alright, I'm a tattoo artist now. Guys, what do you want? What do you want? I'll tattoo you. I'm gonna do it on the hairy part of my arm, just to see if a little bit of hair will affect it or not. Okay, let's do biscuit. I found a color tattoo that looks like biscuit, and so of course I have to try it. Okay, okay. It's sent. This is so fun. Okay. Here goes nothing. It's pretty cute. It's just the wrong way. I wanted it to face me. It doesn't look like a fresh tattoo. It looks like a tattoo that I've had for a couple years and the lines are a little bit blurry, but it looks like a tattoo, you know? Like, you can tell that's a dog, that's a toy poodle, right? It's like a croissant. Does it look like a croissant from far away? Oh no. Let's try, let's try some more. Oh god, this is so fun. Let's try, um, there's so many cute tattoos. I just want them all. This one. Jellyfish, here I come. So cute. I kind of did it over my little mole, but I can actually see all the detailed lines. Oh, there's a little smudge here, and I think that's because I have my wrist bone, so it touched like 
the ink cartridge inside, hence why it's smudge, but the tattoo actually printed out really well. How do I change your orientations? The butterfly is really cool. I just wanted it like a different direction. So I kind of don't know how to tell how it's gonna print when it comes out. <laughs> what, what? That was a nice roll. Oh no, it's smudging everywhere on my table. Aya! What the hell? I just touched the thing. It was very hot. What happened? <gasps> Oh, it switched back to object mode. Why? I didn't press it. Maybe my arm pressed it. It doesn't work sometimes depending on how I glide it across my skin, maybe because it's not really touching my skin or it's like an awkward area. But generally it works pretty well. The only thing is that when I touch it, you can see that the ink definitely transfers. Now they do sell a balm that you can apply on top to make it more water resistant. But yeah, you need to be careful because it could go onto your clothes or your bags, things like that, it does transfer. It actually transferred onto my table. That's when I realized that, hey, this is not smudge resistant. These tattoos only last a day or so, and apparently you can just remove it with water. So I wanna just spray some water to see how easy it is to remove. Oh wow, you can see it already run off my arm. Wiping it with water alone isn't enough. You will need soap or I'm just gonna use cleansing water. FYI, I should also mention that I read online that the ink in the cartridge is safe for the skin. They use cosmetic grade ingredients. So it's basically like makeup on your skin. Oh, the cellar water is not getting rid of this. Okay, not as easy to remove. I think you need like an oil-based makeup remover to completely get rid of it. Or maybe just soapy water, scrub it a little bit. But that's what it looks like when I just tried to wipe over it. Now on the app, you can also upload your own design. So if you want to fully customize your own instant tattoo, you can definitely do that. I'm going to try it out. So here I've got a logo of my brand, The Petite Club. The logo looks okay, just doesn't look that great to be honest. Like the front of it isn't printing as well. But let me try another one. <laughs> I just printed Perky Perm on my arm. FYI, shameless plug right here. It's my brow lamination kit that I just created for my brand, The Petite Club. It's exclusively available on Coriel.com. So if you guys want to laminate your brows, you want to perk them up, you can use code TINA20 to get 20% off. It's my friends and family discount. As always, I'll link you guys below. Okay, that one worked. Okay, that one worked pretty well. Now I'm gonna switch the machine back to object mode and then try to print it on some paper. I'm going to change the number of repetitions to three and run it across a piece of paper to see how it goes. <gasps> wow. It looks so good on paper. Wow. So the detail. A cherry skull. <laughs> it's so good on paper. Wow. If you guys like scrapbooking or like journaling or just creating like things on paper and stationery, oh my God, this is so good for that. Oh, the print looks so good and it's so consistent because obviously a piece of paper is a lot easier to print on than our skin. Oh my God, the line, the details. I'm so impressed. Now let's test it out on a tote bag. I couldn't end that one because the seam was a little bit chunky. Let me go again. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh, that worked really well as well. Just have to make sure the bag's flat. I mean, you can see all the details though, like the line work. I'm choosing a design with lots of color that seems a bit longer as well. That was so good. <gasps> That's so nice. Okay, I'm impressed, okay. At first, I was very skeptical about this instant tattoo machine, but I am completely sold. I did not waste my money. In fact, it is so fun to use. I feel like I am so ready to get tatted up now and I can change up my tattoos daily. The only thing is that you're restricted with the size of the print. So you can only print quite small designs. Also on the skin, it does transfer. So I recommend buying that fixing balm that they do sell just to prevent it from transferring. On paper and fabric though, oh, 
The print is so nice. I just want to go customize everything now. I think this is great for DIY crafty people or even if you own a brand and if you just want to customize things for your customers, this is a great idea. Apparently this ink cartridge can print up to a thousand designs and you can buy refill cartridges online. With the material print, it comes off in the wash. I think one or two washes and the ink will just come out. So it's not like staining and not permanent. These are just temporary designs that you can customize. Now, if you guys want to watch more of my content, click the video on screen and don't forget to subscribe. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!